Good morning, graduates, families, and friends. The ceremony is about to begin. Would you please rise for O Canada? Can you please remain standing? It's my pleasure to introduce a special and important addition to convocation ceremonies that reminds us all of the ancestral lands of the First Peoples of Canada. This song is called a victory song that will start us off in a good way at every one of our convocation ceremonies. Over the past hundreds of years, there have been many victory songs that have been passed down through generations. These songs have a special power to them and therefore carry such great meaning as this song correlates with the treaties signed with the Crown and the First Peoples of Canada. The treaties were agreements signed as a foundation for ongoing relationships in understanding one another so that we live together in a respectful relationship as we move forward together to advance reconciliation. We present this song to uplift the spirit and to encourage all of us to come together, sing, and dance in victory for the graduates' accomplishments. It is my pleasure today to introduce the victory song, and I extend gratitude to our traditional singers and cultural ambassadors, Lyle Tutusis, Monty Sunchild, Al Crawford, Adrian Lachance, Colin Rain, and Jade Tutusis, who have pre recorded this victory song for the U of A convocation ceremonies. If you are able, please remain standing.
Please be seated. Hello, everyone. I'm Peggy Garrity, and I have the great privilege of serving as the Chancellor of the University of Alberta and as the moderator for today's ceremonies. Welcome back to the University of Alberta in person, the way that ceremonies like this are meant to be done. We're all excited to celebrate you. But before we begin, I acknowledge that the University of Alberta, its buildings, labs, and research stations are primarily located on the territory of the Cree, Blackfoot, Métis, Nakoda, Dene, Iroquois, and Ojibwe Salto, lands that are now known as part of Treaties 6, 7, and 8, and the homeland of the Métis. In stating this, we must recognize our responsibility in working in relationship alongside First Nation and Métis people and their communities on our way forward, and in good relations in uplifting the whole people for the next seven generations and the university for tomorrow. Today is a unique event in the history of our university. In 2020 and 2021, some 18,000 students earned their degrees amid unprecedented global conditions. Close to 4,000 of those students are returning over three days to take part in an important moment in each student's academic career, the ritual of crossing the stage. Each one of you is already part of the alumni family, but we knew that a virtual convocation could not possibly do justice to your incredible achievements. There's something uniquely memorable about being able to cross the stage, hear your name read aloud, and be acknowledged, and look out into that crowd of people with their big smiles who are all, who are all here to cheer you on, you and your fellow graduates. So I'm delighted that you could join us for this special ceremony with your friends, family, and supporters, and have a chance to have your own moment and cross the stage. You have earned that moment. You spent hours, months, and years listening and learning, digging into complex issues and topics, thinking critically about some of the most pressing issues facing our world, sharing time with friends and colleagues, and preparing for what was next. Since your time with us, you've already become, be, begun exploring what's next. You've probably figured out by now that it is, doesn't necessarily get any easier, it just gets different. You might even miss being a university student again. But next also isn't linear. It comes with ups and downs, lurches, lurches forward and slides backward. It comes with times you feel you're on top of the world and others where you really don't want to get out of bed. And all of that is okay, because life's not linear. But also because your university career, especially the way yours unfolded, has given you the ability to solve problems and persevere. So wherever your life journey has taken you since you graduated, I encourage you to stay hopeful. And while you're on campus today, take time to get back in touch with those places and spaces that inspired you and infused you with optimism and excitement while you were here. Take it all in, let it give you fresh, fresh energy, and also have lots of fun along the way. Now I'm pleased to share a video from our university's president, Bill Flanagan. Hello and welcome, everyone. Although I can't be with you today, it brings me enormous pleasure to know that we've been able to bring you together in person to celebrate your achievements. And while this in-person ceremony is overdue, our congratulations are no less heartfelt because what you've done is remarkable. The journey you've made as a student is one filled with excitement and exploration, but also one that could be arduous. And what you accomplish takes fortitude and commitment many late nights, early mornings, and what I'm sure were impressive amounts of caffeinated beverages, and the determination to persevere. 
And that's the journey experienced by a typical university degree recipient. Your journeys, on the other hand, as we know, were anything but typical. You had to earn your degrees amid unprecedented global conditions. But through it all, you were quick to adapt, you were resilient, and you demonstrated, above all, a commitment, not only to your studies, but also to do all we can to keep one another safe. So on behalf of the University of Alberta, I want to offer our profound appreciation to each and every one of you. I also want to acknowledge the impact that you've already been making out there in the world since you completed your studies at the university, whether that's through your first career opportunities or volunteer endeavors, or your advancement onto further academic or research pursuits. Because really, that's what sets the University of Alberta apart from other universities, the impact that we have on the world. And there are many universities in the world doing meaningful work, but there are not many universities in the world doing globally recognized research on such a comprehensive array of some of the most significant challenges facing the planet. Challenges like climate change, developing sustainable energy systems of the future, global food security, advancing and defending free and democratic societies committed to justice, equity, and opportunity for all, harnessing the potential of artificial intelligence to better society, and advancing human health and wellness in our local communities and around the world. The University of Alberta is among a small handful of global universities with the research and teaching strength to make world-changing contributions to each and every one of these significant challenges. We are leading the way with purpose to develop solutions for our planet and our society. And yet, our most significant impact is represented by all of you here today. That is, our exceptional graduates. You are the problem solvers and the change makers. You are the builders and thinkers and leaders who will help us find our way through the world's thorniest issues. You are the ones who will bring new energy and fresh thinking to the great debates and challenges of our times. We can't wait to learn more about how you will use your skills and knowledge and curiosity to help shape our evolving economy, nurture our fragile planet, and build a stronger and more just society. And we could not be prouder of you. So today, we celebrate your achievements, the bright futures that you all have ahead, and the impact that you will undoubtedly make as part of our growing and global University of Alberta family. Congratulations. President Flanagan mentions our growing and global University of Alberta family, and it's not hyperbole when he says this. The University of Alberta has been around for 114 years, so it has more than a few graduates around the world. In fact, it has roughly 300,000 graduates around the, country, around the world. We're honored to have one of those graduates here with us today. It's my pleasure to introduce Mr. Ken Shields, one of our former Alumni Council members. Eminent Chancellor, distinguished guests, thank you. Merci. To the graduating class of the COVID era, you have shown incredible resiliency, drive, and determination to be here today. Congratulations. Cher Finissant, vous avez démontré une résilience incroyable, une énergie et une détermination pour être ici aujourd'hui. Félicitations et bienvenue. My name is Ken Shields. I arrived on this campus il y a 55 ans. After I arrived on campus 55 years ago, I then graduated from the university in 1969 with a Bachelor of Education degree, mon bac en éducation, and 15 years later, a Master's in Education Administration, une maîtrise en éducation 
en administration scolaire. And grads, in case you were wondering, yes, 55 years ago, there was electricity and indoor plumbing on campus. Thanks to the superb education that I received in the Faculty of Education here, I enjoyed a varied career. It included developing educational programming for access television, teaching in a private international school in Switzerland for a term, administering the Provincial Consumer Education Program for a decade, and the Official Languages programs for both Alberta education and advanced education. As well, I taught in Vermilion and Edmonton. C'est un grand honneur pour moi de vous féliciter d'être un finissant de l'Université de l'Alberta et de vous souhaiter la bienvenue officiellement dans la famille des anciens. It's my honor to congratulate you on becoming a U of A alumnus and to officially welcome you to our alumni family. As mentioned earlier, we are more than 300,000 strong, plus de 300,000 membres, living in some 140 countries around the world. The good news is you don't have to send a Christmas card to all of us. Ensemble, together we are change makers, community builders, world shapers. Throughout the history of our university, the world has faced many challenges. But when we stand together, we generate the solutions that make us healthier, safer, stronger, and more just. Nous serons toujours à la recherche face aux défis, au-delà de tout, nous serons toujours des chefs de file. Tout comme notre université, nos finissants sont des leaders avec un but. We will always be seeking, always be challenging, and most of all, always leading. Like our university, our alumni, yourselves included, lead with purpose. And grads, from time to time, remember to come back home to the U of A. Félicitations et bon succès dans toutes vos futures aventures. Congratulations and best wishes in all your future adventures including paying more income tax. <laughs> Thank you, Merci Ken. Uh, now it's the moment that has been long overdue, the time we welcome all of you onto the stage. Joining me here on stage are representatives from your faculty, to share in congratulating you on earning your degree. As you come across the stage, I'll be presenting you with a small memento to signify your time with us at this special ceremony. Let's not wait any longer. Eminent Chancellor, on behalf of Professor Marianne Dorchi and Professor Andrea McLeod, I present the following graduates for degrees in the Faculty of Education and Faculty of Graduate Studies and Research. For the degree of Doctor of Philosophy, Jacqueline Lee Philippek. Hong 
Hong Liang Fu. Albert Brent Galloway. That's name's T. Janine May Teen. Eminent Chancellor for the degree of Master of Education. Andrea Curry Pon. Kara Dawn Shannon. Anita Carmen Stern. Jacqueline Strom. Mila Valentgood. Brenda Marilyn Wells. Eminent Chancellor, on behalf of Professor Marianne Dorchi, I present the following graduates for degrees, for degrees in the Faculty of Education. For the degree of Bachelor of Education, Kristen Elizabeth Adair. Robert Thomas Aird. Tasha Kathleen Aikens. Last name Ansel, and that's Joy. Danielle Joy Ansel. Last name Antonakis. Lisa Charlene Antonakis, with distinction. Carissa Margaret Ashton, with distinction. Adjua Ansama Ba with distinction. Donna Marie Badger. Kimberly Anne Marie Barnes. Erica Josephine Monique Baycott. Camille Julien Berg. Pratiti Biswas. Pratiti Biswas. Middle name's Megan. Sandra Megan Bonkowski. Ashley Elaine Boyce with distinction. So, Kaziah Jaylene Brabbins. Kaziah. Kaziah Jaylene Brabbins with distinction. First name, Carrie. Carrie Martha Dale Brown. So, Arnulfo Jam Garcia Camat. Arnulfo Jam Garcia Camat. Thank you. Last name, Chet. Ivy Isabella Grace Check. Last name Cheng. Jeffrey Cheng with distinction. Okay, no card. Annalise Chuak. Annalise Chuak. Shayana. Shayana Suzanne Collins with distinction. Christy Allison Crane. Helena. Helena Michelle Crane with distinction. Nicole Marie Davidson Quibell with distinction. Sarah Kathleen Doty with distinction. Kayla Alma Dumont. That's D.B. Eldasuki. D.B. 
Krista Randy Marie Ermanskin with distinction. Salma Fayad. <laughs> Jessica Lynn Feldberg. Last name Findling. Natasha Lydia Findling. Carly Elizabeth Folk. Kimberly Rose Cynthia Francis. Last name Gallo. Christy Natalia Gallo with distinction. Gobin. Shireen Holly Gobin with distinction. Last name Hoff. Jessica Kathleen Hoff with distinction. Hagstrom. Victoria Summer Hagstrom. Hatala. Stephanie Hatala with distinction also awarded the Milton Ezra Lazert Gold Medal. Erin Victoria Elizabeth Havens with distinction. Heinrich. Taylor Nicole Heinrich. Cindy Hong. Uh, Lianza Renee Huber. Lianza Renee Huber. Sayeda Ida Javed. Sayeda Ida Javed. Sayeda Ida Javed with distinction. Emma Taylor Jensen with distinction. Jillian Elizabeth Johnson. Abla Kasimi. Abla Kasimi. Mason Ala. Mason Ala Kadri with distinction. Arshnur Kaur. Arshnur Kaur with distinction. So best name is Layman. Courtney Michelle Lehman with distinction. Last name's Klemek. Kathleen Ann Klimek with distinction. So pronounce the K, Knup. Brianna Marie Knup. Menatella Mohammed Mohammed Konsoa with distinction. Simon Thomas Joseph Krupa. Last name Lozier. Sean Ryan Lozier. So just Aaron Lee. Aaron Lee. Last name Liu. Shana Liu. Camilla Estelle Lianas with distinction. Last name's Ludlow. Megan Anna Lovelin. Last name Glendine. Melissa Amy Lundine with distinction. First name Kaylin. Kaylin Melissa Ma. Jillian Elaine McDougall. Jessica Diane McLean. So, last name Mayor. Rain Ashton Mayor. Michelle Ann Mokos. Robin Dawn Mazur. Last name's Mazone. 
Sabrina Mazon. Bailey McDonald. Isabel Marie McLean. Sarah Ruth Milliken. Jacqueline Mock. Kristen Joan Morin with distinction. His name is Jalen. Jalen Sky Mountain. Vivian Mukanziza. Last name Neong. Diana Ashley Neong. Saida Sana Nakvi. Saida Sana Nakvi with distinction. So this is Quinn. Claudia Diem Quinn Noyan. Natalia Clara Esther Novak. Uh, so that's look at lips and this is broken. Darlene Darinka Obradovich Groton with distinction. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> middle name's Klein. Christy Klein Olson. Grace Gabrielle Omilian. Giselle Margaret Gaspar Padua. Giselle Margaret Gaspar Padua. Last name Paunessa. Victoria Florinda Paunessa. Last name Parnum. Rebecca Lee Parnum with distinction. Kelsey Alexandra Fee with distinction. Pirog. Rachel Ann Pirog with distinction. Sheridan Brianne Potts. <laughs> Natasha Raman with distinction. Emily Martina Ratcliffe. Name, Jessa. Jessa Ann Renner with distinction. Last name, Reyes. Vanessa Nadine Reyes. Aisha Kelsey Ribudal. Aisha Kelsey Ribudal. Jessica Marie Robertson. Jaden Scott Russell. Do you want to read some? Caitlin Jane Salisbury. Elsa Georgina Shep. With distinction. Megan Lynn Scott. Sarita. Sarita. Thanks, Sarita. Sarita. Douglas Dennis Sarita. Molly Elizabeth Short. Sinding. Emily Ann Sinding. Tracy Lynn Snyder with distinction. Gypsy Lee Soulier. Mandel Raylene Saint Germain. That's a Megan. Megan Ray Stanley with distinction. Casey Emma Stern. Thank you. Katie. K 
Kayleen Ariel Stretch. Heather Diana Straw. Brianna Simone Steinbring with distinction. Tigerson. Yes. Thank you very much. Tigerson. Ashley Mary Thura Tigerson. Amanda Ray Kimberly Lynn Tooney. Judy Tran with distinction. Tremblay. Kaylee Nicole Tremblay with distinction. Kaylee Elizabeth Vanderhoek with distinction. Megan Elizabeth Vu with distinction. Tanya Vucinovic. Tanya Vucinovic. Kaylin Ashley White. Kylie Krista Janine Wildcat with distinction. Wollaston is there. Teresa Dorcas Wollaston. This is Zadnaiski. Thank you, Carmen. Jordan Lane Zadnaiski with distinction. Carmen Jade Jung. Eminent Chancellor, on behalf of Professor Marianne Doherty, I present the following graduates for the diploma in the Faculty of Education. Yashdeep Baines. Yashdeep Baines. Hassana Taiwo Bakare. Hassana Taiwo Bakare. Madalina Camelia. Madalina Camelia Ingram. Shu Jiang. Ravneet Kaur. Sunita Sindhu. Sunita Sindhu. Do you want me to do the French or not? Eminent Chancelier, au nom de la Professeur Jason Carey and Professor Andrea McLeod, j'ai l'honneur de vous, vous présenter les gradués des baccalauréats de la Faculté Saint-Jean et la Faculté de Graduate Studies and Research. Eminence au grade de maîtrise en arts. Sarah Arlene Nyakaru. Wanyong Fana Ninasoro. Et maintenant, chancelier, au nom de la professeure Jason Curry, j'ai l'honneur de vous présenter les gradués des baccalauréats de la Faculté Saint-Jean. Et maintenant, au grade de baccalauréat, au hasard, Sarah Gitanjali Baker. Haya El Shami El Halabi, avec distinction. Also the recipient of a certificate in international learning, Madison Emily Dabbs Petty, avec distinction. This name, Brenna. Awarded La Medaille, la Medaille d'Or des Pères au Blanc and a certificate in international learning. Brina Michelle Gibbons avec distinction. Brooklyn Ivy Marie Mills avec distinction. So that's Cabinet. Alpha Cabinet Mara. Kayla Pelletier. James Paul Wincott. 
Éminence au grade de baccalauréat en éducation, Farhat Farouk Abdullah. Valérie Dion. Constantina Maria Benincasa avec distinction. Ali A.J. Baroubi. Ali A.J. Baroubi avec distinction. Carissa Laurel May Cooney. So Dana Jacqueline Depot. Dana Jacqueline Depot avec distinction. Jacqueline Enns. Sydney Jane Hansen. Willow Shea Hoffus. Willow Shea Hoffus. Kabalisi Dilexi Eriza. Kabalisa Dilexi Eriza. Who's new, Lalu? Husni Lalawi. Tegan Lee Lestang. Tegan Lee avec distinction. Carolyn Ann Miller. Lucinette Moog Fotsing. Ridwan Osman Hashi. Alyssa Len Polido Serrate. Cynthia Tuko Chamchu. Chloe Mathilde Viensinot. Éminence au grade de baccalauréat et sciences. Daniel Angarita Plata. Daniel Angarita Plata. Lucrezia Apavu. Galikan Kalimuvumba Buki. Marianne Cordo avec distinction. Bonheur Moussana Iradukunda avec distinction. Caroline Marie La Rochelle. Céline Jacqueline Martin. Laurence Marie Estelle Guetan Martin avec distinction. Erwin uh, Messick. Ren Nombele. Tavis Calder Needham. Thomas Christopher Stevenson. Reception de la Médaille d'Or des Pères aux Blancs, Rémi Eve Vincent avec distinction. Yolanda Warkenton avec distinction. Éminent chancelier, au nom de la professeure Jason Carey, j'ai l'honneur de vous présenter les gradués des diplômes et de la Centre collégial de l'Alberta, Campus Saint-Jean, diplôme de technique d'administration des affaires. Mariam Sai. Éminence au grade de diplôme de gestion touristique. 
Finalement, and last but not least, Ram, I'm sorry, that's Mam, Ramatula Die. We're just going to wait for a minute while they finish getting their pictures done. That was wonderful. Uh, can I now ask all of the friends and relatives and family up there and everyone on stage to please rise and we're gonna give these graduates a huge round of applause. Congratulations to all of our graduates. Today is truly a proud moment for all of you and for all of the University of Alberta. It's now time to turn our attention to the final part of our ceremony with the presentation of a special video montage. The song that accompanies the video, Je te retrouve, or I remember, was commissioned by Campus Saint-Jean in 2008 in honor of the U of A centenary. It captures the hopefulness and potential of days spent at the university and hopefully sparks your own memories of your years here. The recording is performed by Corral Saint-Jean under the direction of Laurier Fagnon. Enjoy.
I never get tired of watching that video. One of the reasons I find convocation so compelling is this, this huge audience of people all coming together with a shared sense of pride. Pride in all of you, our graduates. Pride in how a lot of people's hard work has paid off. And pride as a community that we get to be enriched and benefit from the skills and talents of all of these eager young minds. As chancellor of the university, I'm always mindful of the importance of community and the strong role it plays in university life. These past two years have been a stark reminder of how our, our connections in community and our connections with each other are vital for our growth and fulfillment, both professional and personal. They're central to why we get up each morning and follow our dreams and passions. They're the reason we support one another in times of trouble and celebrate each other in times of triumph. And they're a huge part of why the University of Alberta exists. Our university isn't just about generating workers with the right skill sets. That's important for sure. But more than that, our university serves as a crucial pillar for the entire community, helping propel our city, our province, and our country forward with limitless ambition. It's about empowering each new generation with knowledge and professionalism and humanity so they can go forth and help make the world a better place. To tackle the tough problems of our world and strengthen our society and enrich our communities. We hope the journey you've made with the University of Alberta has inspired you to lead with purpose, just as our institution promises to do. As you celebrate today with friends, loved ones, and colleagues, I encourage you to reflect on how they and others in your community have helped you reach this milestone and how you will take your energy and enthusiasm into the community and the broader world to do great things. And we couldn't be prouder of you. On behalf of the entire university, thank you, merci, for joining us today. Later than we would have preferred, but no less heartfelt. I'd also like to thank the sponsors for this event, TD Insurance and Manulife, their contributions to this event have been very much appreciated. And thanks as well to all the people behind the scenes who helped organize today's celebration, from the Office of the Registrar and External Relations, including the wonderful staff here at the Universiad Pavilion. I'm sure you have many stories and experiences to share with your former classmates and colleagues that you're running into today. I encourage you to make the most of those opportunities and to take some time to explore campus, to get back in touch with those places and spaces and faces that enriched your university experience. You can find in your program a map of several locations for that perfect photo, or you can visit the food trucks or flower vendor in Celebration Plaza just by the administration building. Congratulations on your degrees. Have a wonderful convocation, better late than never, they say, and relish every moment of this very special day. Thank you again. <laughs>